Hello, my name is Phil Longo. I'm the offense coordinator at North Carolina Tar Heel Football. Um, this is my wife, Tanya. Uh, Coca-Cola and the University of North Carolina have asked us to share one of our top meals in, in our household uh, that we make most of the time as a family. And we chose uh, Italian Cachuco. To start off, all we're going to do is we, we prepared on this plate, we have our Italian hot sausage, which we, we shred up. We have um, fresh lobster, so there's three lobster tails here. Um, there's a pound of uh, jumbo scallops, there's a pound of fresh shrimp, and then we have, we have uh, prepared um, the squash and the zucchini that Tanya cut up. I'm finishing the peppers, and we've done all of our, uh, the garlic and all the seasonings, and we have that stuff. Uh, most of it right now is in the 24-hour gravy that we make. So there's 24-hour gravy on the, on the stove that we have prepared yesterday. So it sits with um, brajol. We wrap brajol up um, in, in a rope net, drop that into the gravy. The gravy will sit on low for close to 24 hours. The brajol is in there. All of our seasonings are in there. So we make the 24-hour gravy. We did that yesterday through to this afternoon and we are now going to, we're gonna start by putting the Italian sausage um, in the pan. We're gonna shred that up um, and then we'll add that to all of the vegetables and the seafood. Um, most of this stuff is gonna go in first. Tanya will talk about some of the, the order in which we cook it. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna cook the seafood separate while she's handling the, uh, the vegetables and all the seasonings that go into the gravy. And then when that's done, we'll combine the sausage and the gravy and the vegetables and what goes in last is all the seafood so the shrimp and the scallops and the lobster will go in you know at the end of the process to make this entire meal new year's eve we're here and uh, coach roy williams was here with his wife they were sitting on the couch and you know he said he's only gonna stay for a little bit and uh, he wasn't gonna eat much um, and so probably the biggest compliment we got was Roy got up two different times and had three different helpings in the Kachuko. We had food from wall to wall in this house where numerous people were having a good time on New Year's and he wound up having three helpings of that. Didn't touch anything else in the room so I figured um, if he likes it that's got to be pretty, pretty good for everybody else. I'm going to put the seafood in the other pans. We're going to cook the lobster, the scallops and the shrimp separately. Um, we'll season them a little bit different and then we're gonna put them in, uh, we're cooking them in virgin olive oil and garlic. And then uh, we'll put the seafood in the meal at the very end. So now that we're in the process a little bit here, we've got everything on the stove, gravy's going, the sausage is with the vegetables. Um, we are we're just making final preparations with the shrimp and the lobster. I'm gonna put shrimp and lobster into one pan. Um, actually, I'm not. We're gonna put shrimp, lobster, and uh, scallops into three different pans, gonna season them a little bit different, and then we'll put them in at the end. And then, you know, one of the keys to cooking, at least in this kitchen, uh, I used to say this was Coach's Kitchen and everybody knew that meant me, except Tanya has coached uh, Division One women's basketball for 15 years. So now when I say coach's kitchen, it could mean one of the two of us. And generally that means Tanya because most of the fall I'm coaching. So we're gonna put this shrimp, the, the uh, scallops and the lobster in, um, olive oil and garlic. I put the garlic in the, in the bottom first. When the garlic starts to sizzle, then I'm gonna put the seafood in. had made this, at, we were at one of our coaching stops and I had a busy afternoon and evening schedule and so I just threw it in the crock pot, turned it on and I knew that it would be ready about 7 p.m. and my parents were coming into town. And again, my parents are from the Midwest, um, enjoy a lot of good food but it's not traditional for them to eat a lot of Italian. And so I just said, mom, listen, there is you know, some food in the crock pot, and I said kachuko, and she said kachuko what? 
um, and I just said, you know, it has, you know, some Italian sausage and some garlic and some, um, we call it marinara sauce. Um, gravy would be brown in our family mm -hmm. and served on mashed potatoes. But, um, so I just kind of explained a little bit what was in it. She was like, well, very hesitant, you know, we don't really like sausage and we don't really like garlic and, you know, I, we, I can't really do spicy. And so I said, well, you know, you can give it a try. Otherwise, check out what's in the fridge. Um, I'll be home as soon as I can. So as soon as we get through the door uh, later on that evening, I, you know, I said, you know, did you get a chance to eat anything? Are you okay? And she said, oh, she said, that was so good. I ate four bowls full. Oh, Tanya's mad because I'm spilling olive oil all over the grill. The kitchen is definitely cleaner when she's done cooking than when I'm done cooking. We do a better job of letting each other share the stove because there's really only space over there for one of us and not two. So we kind of know how to take turns a little bit more and um, we've always done a good job of sharing the prep and the different duties that come with preparing a meal. And we both know the dishes we do pretty well, um, but we take our turns and we do work together pretty well in the kitchen. And this is something like we enjoy working together and doing. There's been other other times where we've made this uh, with crab meat also. You can make it with mussels, you can make it with clams, you can make it with all of it. We, we've pretty much done all of that, but I would say the, the norm or the mainstay or the go-to is shrimp, scallops, lobster, shredded Italian sausage, the vegetables that we put in, the homemade gravy, and the seasonings and then you cap it off with stag's leap, little red stag's leap and you're in good shape. So we, we had a guest here and he was eating dinner and uh, it's become a running joke in the family because he was sitting, we were out there in, in, in the dining room, we were eating and he says, uh, and it kind of was a bad thing because after he left I was thinking, man, we must not have had enough seafood in the Kachuco because he was sitting at the dining room table and he, he, you know, and he was eating and he was being polite and I think he enjoyed it, but, and then all of a sudden he found the shrimp in the meal. So when he scooped it out, he must not have got a lot of the seafood initially, you know, and he went, oh, look, a shrimp. And you would have thought like he just won the lottery or something. You know, and I don't think he realized that that was in there and he found it, yeah. So if you are serving this to yeah, your yeah. guests, you may Put want to top. kind of selectively just make sure you get some of each of the different proteins in there into each dish so that everybody gets to experience a little bit of everything. I'm going to bring it right over here. So then we'll top it with a little bit of sharp provolone. You can ask your guests how much cheese they like. Being from Wisconsin, I don't think you can ever have enough cheese, but and then being married to an Italian, he agrees with me. No doubt. So. Right. so that winds up being Italian seafood cachuco, Coach Longo style. Thanks for hanging out with us this evening. We hope that uh, you guys enjoy this meal at home when you make it the same way that we do. Um, hope to see all of you at Keenan Stadium this year. It's going to be a wild ride in 2021. Go Heels. Oh,